Hello everybody. So I am um, doing an initial walkthrough or flip through. I have a couple orders for um, some baby junk journals uh, for, you know, the new mom to uh, journal in um, instead of a, a traditional baby book. And um, I have a, a new granddaughter. She'll be a year in January and I have yet to make her one. All right, so the it's not sewn in, um, it's not decorated, um, just the, you know, the bones are really in there. I haven't even done the inside cover yet um, and, and not attached any of the signatures. So this is basically a Barilla um, pasta box um, that I wrapped in uh, Tyvek. And um, then I basically did some collaging of... Uh, some pinks and teals and laces and things like that scraps basically um, yeah so that's the cover and I don't know how I'm gonna do the closure yet okay so I have a window here I haven't thought about yet what I'm gonna do with this all right so you open up and you have your first signature so I'm just gonna do this I'm gonna put this over here and we'll just do this signature by signature all right so this is the first signature um, I'm gonna move this so I can move this over there we go um, first signature I have a bookmark it's uh, it has two magnets in it and it's a pen holder so um, I just have this on the first page because I haven't started it yet and it just clips on just like that and uh, holds my pen. I mean, this pen is not going anywhere. Um, so, yeah, and nor is the, uh, these are pretty powerful magnets. So they're, they're not going to come off either. So that's my bookmark um, slash pen holder. And then um, I have, I don't remember now, but anyhow, it's coffee dyed deli paper and then it's lined with um, the uh, dyed uh, just regular printer paper all right so the first page here is um, it's got a bunch of activities on it uh, so you well let's do this first so you have a bookmark right or a um, tag right here to journal on and it's kind of like a hidden tag or it hides the other tags because you've got this ruffle right here that goes over that so it's kind of like a hidden journaling spot maybe i don't know if you wanted to call it that or not um then you have uh, a dangle just a button and some beads that i got in a uh, uh a Christmas embellishment swap and you undo this and again this isn't decorated yet um, it, uh, I am going to decorate it with um, oh boy now I gotta figure out how the heck this get there it goes um, and uh, I gotta figure out how I'm gonna decorate it yet usually with pictures and things like that so this is a, uh, a it's the closure but it's also a hidden journaling spot and it's just got a little notepad that I stencil, stenciled and that goes back in here and yeah I, I kind of feel like it's hitting because this one doesn't come out and it's just like a closure right you can't really tell that it comes out um, this is uh, just a scraps piece um, that has a place to put a photo and then I'm going to put a little, uh, uh, well, I already did put a little thing in here, maybe put a date, you know, of the photo or, or some words about it. Um, I might put a longer um, thing in there, but right now that's what I have. And then on the other side, same thing, um, just a different little envelope with a little note card in it. Come on, get it back. And then these just uh, slide in here. So like I said, I'll probably put a photo in here. 
um, and uh, then you know journal the date or something like that. So that's that. This is the traditional birth date, weight, length, time. Um, figured I would put, uh, I don't know what I'll do with this, but I thought it was kind of cool to do something different. Um, again, we had this tag, and we already looked at that. And then this flips up, and then you have journaling here, and then you've got a, uh, let's use a card here. You have a tuck spot here for whatever you want to put there. Okay, so then um, that's it for that page. Yeah, yeah, okay. I want to make sure that I didn't miss anything. All right, um, so you open it up and you've got a tuck spot, the cute little embellishment. Again, these are just things I put in as a placeholder. I haven't decorated this yet. All right, so this is a cool thing um, I saw on a video. Is this attached? Yes, it is. Okay. Um, so I have a little tag. So I plan to put little tags in each one of these pockets, um, which will have, uh, this is acetate right here. So you can slide a, a photo inside here. And basically, um, I have a little corner tuck here. So you could put this in here and then fill the other photos up, right? So the reason I think this is cool is this comes off and you put this, like this picture here, right? This is a picture you open up, you journal about that picture. You go to the next pocket, put that picture there, open it up and journal on that one. So I'll put another picture here and you open it up and journal on that one. So that's a pretty cool um, feature. Uh, I've never done that before. Um, I saw something very similar online, but um, I, I unfortunately didn't um, write down who it was. I just saw it and went, okay, I can make something like that, kind of. All right, so this is just a Franken paper with some scraps um, that I just put in here, and this is a huge uh, tuck spot right here. So again, I'll probably put, I will probably put pictures and things like that in there. All right, so this opens up. This is um, tracing paper that I dyed with the same pink color. Um, and then it's on coffee dyed um, cardstock. And you've got a little frame here with acetate. So your little photo, let's see if I can find something that. So your little photo will go in there and then this opens up and you have a little notepad to journal about that photo or whatever you want to derp about. This is a tuck spot as well. So you can tuck some pictures, more pictures in there and, and, and journal about them in this little notepad. So that's that. Um, same kind of similar with this one is you have another frame. It's a little different. Um, right here and then you have a little another notepad right here and this is another tuck spot right here so you have a huge tuck spots for more pictures and then this is also a tuck spot if I can get it underneath there on here so that is just an envelope that I uh, just folded up out of that same paper that I lined with to use some scraps here and then made a little envelope that I haven't put anything in here yet. Um, made a little envelope and to put in there and yeah. So I will probably make a lot, I'm gonna do a lot more things. Like I, I will use probably a, a hidden paper clip here um, and things like that. Um, so what I didn't show you was this page here. Um, this page has got a big thing of lace that I kind of sewed all around to uh, decorate this inner part of the, the center of the signature. All right, so then you open it up. We already looked at this. And then this right here, um, this is a tuck. Tuck, 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 tuck. Where's my tuck, tuck stuff? Here's my tuck thing. All right, 
This is a tuck, so it tucks in. You can tuck anything in that you want. And then this is kind of like a hidden journal spot. It's been, um, it's just made with scraps. It's freaking paper again. And then I use the uh, an embossing folder that's on with a uh, bread. So you open this up, and there's another piece to this, but uh, I don't know where it went. Oh, for crying out loud. All right, so it's basically another one of these. Oh, get off of there. There, I sewed, I accidentally sewed that in. Um, it's another one of these that will basically go right here. Maybe. And that gives it a little bit, um, just gives it some more, you know, sorry, this is the other part of the signature. Just gives it a cute little, little, uh, I don't know. But anyhow, this is a little journaling spot. And then these go here. So each one of these is a pocket. So this is a pocket, this is a pocket, and this is a pocket that goes all the way down. And then you take this out, which is what holds this. This is a journaling spot. This is a journaling spot. And then this is a journaling spot. And then this one opens. And this one opens. So this is a Cory Dahman, I think is how she says. I'm not sure if that's, but this was um, uh, flip flaps and folds from the, uh, Cory Dahman, who I love. She's like one of my favorite YouTubers. All right, so that is, this will be the last page of the signature. So you have another tag, um, Franken paper. I just sewed this on, so I think I trapped some of my threads in there. Um, come on. Let's just get a scissors. Obviously, I haven't walked through this yet off camera, have I? Oh, for crying out loud, now I can't find scissors. All right. So this is another hidden journaling spot. It is not a tuck. It doesn't do anything. I mean, it could be a tuck, I guess. It's got a paper here, but it's, it does nothing. But this is a pocket, a real deep, a really, really deep pocket. And that's the first signature. Um, again, it hasn't been decorated yet. Um, it's, I still may add pages to it. Um, It'll have to, I'll have to wait to see how after I decorate it. Because um, the last thing I do is I sew the signatures in. Um, so, all right, we'll keep this. Next signature. Signature two of four. And they're small signatures because I like how, I, I like having them in, in individual because then I can get the gusset in between each one versus big signatures that only have a, yeah. Anyhow, I feel like I can just kind of disperse the the, the uh, signatures a little uh, better on the uh, spine. Another one of these covers, I will probably put a tab or decoration or a hidden paper clip or something on here. I like to keep this first page on all my signatures. Um, I like to keep the first page clear because Typically, I have something on the last page, and um, I just, I think because they're signatures, they move a little bit more, um, so uh, I just don't like them rubbing, so I, I'll have two different, yeah. I always try and keep the first um, page clear and just decorate it somehow with something removable or that's not intrusive. Um, this is paper sewn around. Okay, first page of this signature just have some journaling cards made of scraps that I was cleaning off my desk and said okay time to make some Franken papers so, um, so I've got a pocket and then this um, is another envelope um, with a, another another little envelope and this is a journaling envelope with just scraps again. So all the stuff that you see right now are just all things that I made um, with scraps. They're, um, I, I'm not, 
I keep on saying that. I'm sorry, but I, I haven't decorated yet. So on this, which is an interesting pocket, I've never done this before either, and I, I don't, I don't think there was any inspiration from anybody else because I, I think it was just like, okay, I'm gonna do this and this. I'm like, oh, look at that. If I do this, then I can fit something in here without a pocket, right? So it's, it's a pocket. It's a basically corner, corner photo tucks or something, whatever you want to call it. So something goes in here, uh, another scrap bookmark or tag, and then something can go in this one right here, which is directly behind it. And then you've got a pocket here, and you have a pocket here. So this is, again, another Franken paper. I love doing the Franken papers. Um, using the stuff, you know, it matches perfectly because you're using the scraps from what you're creating with. So uh, Franken paper. And then um, this next thing, I'll just put these back really quick. This pocket here, I have um, scrap paper that's a little, you know, just a journaling spot or I don't know what I'll do with it yet, but I thought this was really pretty. It's, this was, again, scraps, and then I just sewed all over it. So that goes into this side pocket right here. And then we have another pocket here. And this, I don't know what I'm, what I'm going to do with it yet. I, I honestly don't. Um, but there's a, a half page in here. It's not a pocket or anything. Um, it's a half page. And um, this is just a little, you know, little notebook that I was seriously considering adding pages to it and then turning it into a hidden bookmark right here. And then you can just open it like this. I don't know. And then this is this side. Okay. And then on here, this I haven't attached yet. Um, I, I have attached this piece right here. So this is a, a flap with a journaling spot. I have to sew it yet. And then I was going to have these scraps again. This is just a little notepad, some lace scraps. And then this is just a little thing that you can tuck photos in or whatever you want in, a little matchbook. So I was going to attach these here and then have these be tucks. And then this flap, this just flaps. Yeah, I don't know yet. This I have to still figure out what I'm going to do with. Um, I might leave it for a journaling spot. I don't know. This is also the attachment. And then this is some Franken paper that I put in this little pocket here. Okay, and that is all for that signature. And I will probably add um, some stuff to this signature because it's kind of a tiny signature. All depends on how it's going to go. All right, here is the third signature. Another one of these um, deli paper, coffee dyed deli paper with the, uh, I don't remember how I dyed it. Um, oh, I remember. I used um, my Derwent ink, my watercolor inks. All right, so this is another one of those pages. It looks the same as all the others, except for it's a little different. This is the uh, same thing on this, um, all these pink um, tracing paper um, are all pretty much the same. Um, so this is a Franken paper journaling card. This I have to still, um, figure out what I'm going to do with it's attached to this pocket but basically it's a slide so you can put um, put stuff in here right so I figured I might have something to slide in here that you can put a words on or I don't know yet how I'm going to accessorize this but for now this is what it is and then you open this up and you have individual pages and I put um, each page has a little scallop of uh, lace sewn on. So you've got these little lacy bits. And then it looks really fluffy and dimensional there. 
So um, I just have a paper clip right now for a closure. I don't know how I'm going to do this yet. Um, it's still a work in progress. All right, so what I did here was I took two different coffee dyed um, doilies and I just sewed them together in the middle with the um, scallop. I put some glue in the, in, in the middle too um, with the scallop stitch and then this with some sort of, it's a, another scallop stitch, but I don't know what it's called. All right, so that goes right here. I don't know yet what I'm gonna do with this. I will probably do something to it. And then this, which I absolutely love, um, will go in the center. It's got these little holes here. And each one of these is acetate on both sides. So this is basically two of these put together, two die cuts put together. So there's acetate on this side and acetate on this side. And these are die cuts that come with this die set. And I put lace across here. I put some um, ribbon scraps to hold the individual sections together. These are all pre-cut little holes that come through here. And then for each one of these pictures, there's a little tag and basically you put two pictures in here. It's a tuck spot. You put a picture facing this way and a face away for this side and then a, a picture this way. And you basically have, if you slide that in and you have a photo on this side and on this side. So you go like this. What I was thinking about doing with this is having, you know, newborn month one, two, three, four, five, six months you know, um, and then so on and so forth. I think there's six, I think there's 12, no, 14. Wait, did I say six? Oh, there's seven on each one, so it's 14 months. So yeah, that's what I was thinking. There's another piece that goes in the middle. It's the off cut of this, so I'll probably do something with this, and then I already wanted to put a little dangle here. Um, so this is just to remind me to put that in. And then um, on the other side of this paper here, I didn't have any more Franken paper made up, so I didn't put that in there yet. And this is just another one of these um, uh, specimen cards. Um, it opens up on this side. Come on. Holy cow. All right, so it opens up on this side, and then your photo goes in here. Um, and then you've got the individual pages with the little scallop lace edges. I don't know. Can you see that? For each. I thought that was like the cleverest thing I ever thought of. And it's a pain, but it was so worth it. I love how it looks. All right. So that is the third signature. And I will be doing some stuff yet to this. And then the last signature... All right, so this signature is the same. It's coffee dyed with the uh, ink tents, pink and dye, dyed with the ink tents, uh, Derwent ink tents. And then you've got another one of these white or pink dyed um, deli papers. And this is um, just a, uh, a, a Franken paper that I made. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it yet. I'm thinking I might, I don't know yet. So this is kind of cool and I want to I want to use that. So I'll put that in there for now. Okay. So this we have a dog, uh, uh, Rosemary. She is a uh, Rottweiler. Sweet, sweet, sweet thing. She loves the baby, and the baby, the one-year-old, almost one-year-old baby, loves her. So I at the thrift store I got a huge. Um, puzzle piece. This is a puzzle piece right here. Um, I got a huge set. I just went yesterday actually. Um, and I got a, a, a set of, it's a puzzle piece. Um, and when I was, I just picked two. Um, I picked uh, another one I got, I have over here. I just picked two shapes. This is the other one that I redid. Um, and then I was looking at it and doing it and I'm like, wow, 
this right here looks just like a bone. You can't see because of the, yeah, now you can. It looks just like a bone. And there's another one, you know, another picture on this side. I'm like, holy cow, I'm going to make this a page about my daughter, my granddaughter and the dog. So what I plan to do here is, um, so this is basically, this is basically the, the uh, puzzle piece. And you've got a little tuck right here, and it's just a little... I haven't done anything with it, but it was a scrap, and I'm like, oh, that would look cute here. So I just put it there, and I'll figure out how I'm going to decorate it or what else I'm going to do. Um, did some embossing right here. Um, this Friends Forever Friends. Oh, man, this all just fell right into place. It was so easy. And then I put this piece, the puzzle piece, I put on, um, this is a Walgreens prescription bag I just glued it on there and then I glued that well hold on I'm getting ahead of myself I glued I glued this onto the bag and then I also put another bag in here to put other things in there too so I've got a big bag and then a little bag and this is also a cover so if you put little things in here, they won't fall out. Okay, so that's that piece. Um, I got a dangle, the gold safety pin, and just a little, you know, one of those little things that you make. Again, Cory Diamond. So here, I haven't put any of the things on here. What I plan to do is have pictures of my granddaughter over here and Rosemary over here. Uh, journaling spot in the back and basically light it up here and have their little pictures right here and I have to put I don't know what I'm going to put on here if I'm going to put lace or ribbon or whatever I'm going to do so yeah so I thought you attached a picture here on the tag and you attach a picture here on the tag and you've got a fabulous little cute little thing all right so that's the pocket this then flips up and I've just got a little cluster here with some ribbon um, a tuck with a journaling card a tuck with a journaling card everything sewn and then I haven't decided what I'm gonna do with this but this is just a, a a piece of cardstock. There is a pocket back here. I just haven't put anything in it. Um, hold on a second. Let's make sure I put something. Yeah. So there's a pocket right here. I just haven't put anything in it. Um, but this is some cardstock, and then um, it's sewn on. I think I'm going to do a, a paper pad that comes down, and then this is a little, just a little um, folder um, or a little pocket or tuck spot. Um, I think I can get it through here a little bit more, but anyhow, um, for whatever you want to put in there. And this was something I made, um, a little paper clip with some scraps as I was getting my stuff together. Um, it's just a, uh, a ruffle of some ribbon, some scraps, and then, uh, another ruffle of some more, le of some lace, coffee dyed lace, and a cool button tied on here. Um, and it's on a paper clip, so it's kind of like a dangle, but I plan to put it here. Um, I think that was, looked pretty with the two buttons and, um, goes with the bling on the outside of this as well. So, and I'll probably have something, you know, tucked underneath here. I just don't know how I'm going to do that yet. So you open this up and you got, um, coffee dyed, uh, music empty music paper template, whatever you want to call it. Oh, this wasn't closed right. So hold on a second. I'll, I'll close it for the effect. All right. So here you have, this is another, I think this is a Cory Donnan. Um, I don't remember. I, I did not come up with this. I think it was Cory Donnan. Anyhow, so this is a pocket right here. And this opens up. 
and you have a little journaling spot to, you know, the top. I, I plan to put pictures in every pocket, and I made sure that, that I had journaling room by every single pocket so I could journal about this, you know, whatever it is. This is a tuck right here, and then I'm, um, this is not a pocket. This is a pocket, and it's keeping, well, it's partially what's keeping this closed, but what really is keeping this closed, and I'm going to tip this over, is, <clears throat> let me open it up, you got a origami piece here that you can um, journal on. So that's what's really keeping it closed. And then you have another, you have a tuck spot here, you have a pocket here, a pocket here, you have a pocket here, a pocket here, a pocket here, and uh, now nah, I wouldn't say that's a tuck spot. Pocket here, and then you have a removable pad of paper. Uh, right there, there's the band. So all this goes together. Well, okay. Lift this piece. There you go, Pam. And all that goes together. Kind of like this. And yeah. So then this is a pocket here. So this whole thing glued on only on the side. And then this is a pocket. And this is just junk mail. I will be decorating this. It has, um, it was one big window envelope and I just sewed around it and um, I didn't think I needed to do anything with the inside because of the back because it's coffee dye. Um, I put back each one of these little flaps, I cut them down and then I plan to have um, pictures on here and then probably a little pad uh, of a couple pages like maybe two pages, you know, for each one um, that hooks onto this thing or hooks onto here. I don't know yet, but yeah, so that's this. And that goes in the pocket. And then you turn the page and there's nothing on this part yet. And then on the other side of this paper, you have another one of these with the, you know, lace tabs another pocket <clears throat> excuse me another pocket and on the back here you have um oh yeah this is a pocket right here so this is a pocket right here that i'll put something in and then you have similar to that other um idea but you've got a bunch of uh this is kind of cool, huh? Um, tuck spots that you can just, um, come on, get in there. Everything's still, oh no! I'm glad this is my book. I'm going to have to redesign this a little bit. Yeah, so. Just put that in, and then you put this one in right here. And I'll probably do a cluster of some sort on these right here. I don't know yet. Um, and then this is the other side of this and that is it so this is uh oh come on get back on here i just accidentally hit that um so this is my granddaughter my baby book for my granddaughter and a prototype for the other two um that i'm going to be making Yeah, so I'll probably um, I'll probably check in. Um, so many pictures and stuff that I've got to print out. Um, I figure for ephemera, I'm just going to use pictures of her, I, whatever I make. Um, so you know, if I decide to put a faux stamp on here, that faux stamp is going to have a picture of her. Um, you know, or whatever you know I'm, I'm doing. You know, mostly I'll have pictures of her, or I'll be using scraps. You know, like I haven't used this, um, things like that. So anyhow, um, yeah, thank you for watching. I know this is kind of long. All right, everybody, thank you. Bye.